Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and one of my most popular videos is called Frame Rates Explained, where I walk you through the video frame rates that I use to film weddings and how I interpret my footage in Adobe Premiere Pro to instantly make all my video clips the same frame rate. This makes video editing super easy, but one of the most common comments that I've received on that video is, can you still speed ramp your interpreted footage? AKA, if you have some footage playing at normal speed, can you then have it play in slow motion without cutting the clip? This can be confusing because if speed ramping is about making some of your footage slow motion and some of it normal speed, how are you supposed to do that if all of your footage is the same frame rate? Here's the good news. You can still speed ramp interpreted footage and I'm about to show you how. But first, if you haven't watched that frame rates explained video, I would highly recommend watching it because because this tutorial sort of builds on that. So it will be linked up in the corner and down in the video description. All right, let's jump into Adobe Premiere. Here's a project where I've already imported some footage that is at 60 frames per second. And as you can see, it is playing back here at normal speed, no slow motion. Now I'm gonna go over here to the project window, right click on this video clip, go to modify, interpret footage, and then under frame rate, I'm going to select assume this frame rate. And I'm gonna change it from one frames per second to 23.976. And then I'm going to click okay. And voila, as you can see, this footage is now playing back in slow motion at 23.976 frames per second. Now here comes the speed ramping part. Select your footage, drag it down to your timeline. Make sure you select keep existing settings whenever the clip mismatch warning pops up. And then go down here to your clip and you're gonna see this yellow FX icon. Right click on that and go down to time remapping and select speed. Next I'm gonna go over here to this line between V1 and V2 and I'm gonna click and drag it up nice and big. So you can see this track is nice and large now. Now look at your clip and figure out where you want it to be in slow motion. For me, I want the part where they're running up to each other to be in normal speed, but once they get to about here and he starts to spin her, that's whenever I want the slow motion to kick in. So let's go to about right here. And knowing that I wanna start the slow motion here, go down to this little horizontal line to where your mouse changes. And then if you're on PC, hold down Control, or if you're on Mac, hold down Command, and that's gonna change it to a plus icon, and then click once. And as you can see, there's now this little blue V icon that has appeared. Now, if you've speed ramped your footage before, this is all gonna be very familiar. You know, okay, I just go over here, and I click this line, and I drag it down to 40%, and suddenly things are in slow motion. But wait a second, if we do that, this isn't playing back in slow motion. This is playing back with a very low frame rate because this video clip is already in slow motion. So what do you do? I'm going to press Control Z or Command Z if I was on a Mac to undo that. And then we're gonna go back to this previous line. So this horizontal line before we have the vertical line going through it. And I'm gonna to click to select this line and I'm gonna drag it up, 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 up. And you're gonna see this percentage is starting to rise here and I'm gonna raise the percentage up to 250%. This speed, 250% is gonna bring your footage back to normal speed. And you're gonna notice, as soon as the playhead hits this line, everything goes to slow motion. Now this is a very abrupt change to speed, and one of the key words of speed ramping is the word ramp, which makes you think of a gradual change from fast to slow. So let's do that now. Move your mouse down here to this V icon again, click to select it so it turns blue, and then click the left part of the V and begin to drag it to the left. About there is good. And now you're gonna see we have this nice diagonal line. Think of these two parts of the V as the bookends for your speed ramping. So this left part of the V is where you start to tell Premiere, I want you to start changing from normal speed to slow motion. This last part of the V is where you're telling Premiere, I want you to fully be slow motion. Play back the clip here, and as you can see, it's a normal speed, and then as they come together, slow motion is happening, and we are now fully slow motion. Looks pretty good. That's it. You can speed ramp interpreted footage just as easily as you can uninterpreted footage. And it only takes one extra small step to do it. I hope this helps you out as you edit in Premiere Pro. Please leave me a comment below and let me know if you have a different way of doing this. I'm always learning new things about Premiere. It would also be a huge help to me if you would like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Also, if you're a wedding videographer like me, you probably want to book more couples and film more weddings. To help you out with that, I've created a free PDF guide that's gonna give you 
practical, actionable steps that you can take right now in your business to book more couples and film more weddings. This guide is a free gift. You can download it at the link down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.